The oldest part of the building is, um, was built in 1908, so it's 100 years old. And like anything a century old, Jefferson Elementary has fallen victim to the typical ailments of old age. We have heating and ventilation issues. Um, we have registers that fire out heat in the middle of winter, makes you want to open a window. It's stifling in the summertime. Thermostats register a temperature of 72 degrees, when in reality it's over 80 in this empty classroom. At lunchtime, Jefferson's gym becomes a lunchroom. School staff only has a few minutes to make the transformation. And the hallways are multi-purpose as well. Many classrooms don't have the room for enough computers, so computers line the halls. Students outgrew the school 50 years ago. That's when portable buildings were built on the playground. It's quite an interesting place. A place not accessible for people with disabilities. Debbie Duggar's daughter lost part of both legs to meningitis a few years back. A lot needs to be done yet to make it, uh, to make it a friendly world for wheelchair. The old part of the building has, is three stories, so the stairs can't be negotiated by some of our children or some of our parents. About a mile away, Ferris High School has similar problems. Built about 50 years ago, the walls are crumbling. The high school is California style with a wide open campus. It's hard to secure. It's hard to keep track of who's entering our campus, um, what doors they have access to. Another issue with securing the campus, the doors. There are more than 150 exterior doors at Ferris High School. From an energy management perspective, every time a door is open, all the heat that we spent money to create flies out the door. The lunchroom can only hold a quarter of the student population, forcing everyone else to eat in the hallways. Principal Kevin Foster says this bond and levy are absolutely necessary. For us, it's essential. That was Sally Showman reporting. Here's a look at the schedule of open houses. Finch Elementary tonight, Ferris tomorrow, Jefferson Elementary is February 5th, Westview February 10th, and Hutton Elementary has theirs on the 12th. Each one is from 3.30 to 5.30.